Howdy. Um, can you just describe the atmosphere tonight? Unbelievable. I mean, you, you're out there and national anthem flag drops on the wall. Uh, military members out there uh, after that and getting your name, you know, getting your name announced before that too. Just how crazy and then the, the, the Bogart Tomer in the first inning. I mean, talk about a, a, a pop and, uh, you know, the crowds went nuts. The crowd went nuts and uh, you, you feed off that energy. You, you you thrive for that, and Red Sox Red Sox Nation brought it tonight, and uh, we needed it, and uh, you, you can't say enough about the crowd tonight. And in the middle, Alex. Kyle, you've faced Cole a lot of times, uh, you know, in, in, in over recent years. Uh, what did you guys? What what allowed you guys to do that well? And how do you get on top of uh, that 97 mile an hour fastball that's above the zone to drive it out? Yeah, I mean, th these guys, you know, these guys have faced them a lot more than. You know, probably what I have. You know, I faced him back in when he was in Pittsburgh, and uh, I think once with the with the Astros. And uh, you know, I think we did a really good job of just making sure that we got him in the zone. You know, guys taking walks, uh, guys coming up with big hits. Um, you know, it was it was a total team effort there, and to be able to get him out at that point in the game was big for us to be able to get to the pin. And uh, to keep adding on more, and you know, yeah, the, the the swing there. I mean, you're in two strikes, battling up, and you see the fastball up, and you know, it looks good to the eyes, and it's probably, you know, it was a ball, and uh, was you know able to get the barrel to it and put a good swing on it, and uh, I mean, the crowd was electric there too, and it, it definitely made me get to a get to a point where I didn't really know what I was doing. Running the bases, but uh, you know it was it was definitely you know that's a that's definitely a home run I won't forget. In the back right, Kyle Johnny. Kyle, um, can you talk about Avaldi tonight, sir? Uh, oh yeah, Avaldi. I mean, wow. I mean, you you look at the the game beforehand that he pitched against the Yankees, and then you you see what he does tonight. Um, very stoic on the mound, um, going out there filling up the zone. And uh, challenging guys, that was that was huge. Uh, you know, it was definitely. I think that was. I mean, if I could label a game that I've seen Nate Evaldi pitch, I would say that would be number one. Uh, it was. It was. It was phenomenal. I mean, that's exactly what we needed out of the guy, and he came out and he delivered. In the second row on your left, Julian. Kyle, when um, he talked about it a little bit early, but when um, Aaron Boone came out to take out. Uh, Cole, the crowd erupted. Just what were the thoughts within the dugout um, as he was going to take another game? Yeah, I mean, Garrett's one of the best pitchers in the game. I mean, you, you see that. You, you see that's the, why the reason he got paid that much money. You know, he's one of the best pitchers in the game. And uh, for us to go out there and have the at bats that we did against him and to get him out early in that game, it was only a positive for us just to be able to get to that bullpen and to start chipping away at those guys. Um, you know, he, you know, you, you tip your cat to Garrett for the, the year he had this year. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know what his standards were, but you know, they were, it looked like it was a pretty good year for him. And, um, you know, for, for us to get to him that early, that was a huge win for us. And, uh, you know, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to make sure that we go out there, attack our game plan, uh, get strikes, get strikes, swing at them, and uh, you know not miss it. And if it's not the zone, be able to take your walk. In second row on your right, Garrett. What does a game like? Yeah, Garrett. Garrett. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Kyle. What does a game like that do? Uh, I just wrote Garrett on my on my computer. What, is, what does a game like that do for you guys, momentum wise, launch, launching you forward? Yeah, I mean that, that, it's big for us. You know, obviously we're going to enjoy this tonight. Uh, this, it's a well deserved win tonight. Um, you know. I don't think there was many people that picked us probably to win this game. And, uh, you know, we all had faith in ourselves. We knew what we were going to go out there and do tonight. And uh, we just had to execute. And we did. So we're going to enjoy tonight. And whenever we're going to Tampa, probably sometime tomorrow, uh, we'll get locked in for that next series. But definitely big momentum for us. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I mean, talk about big plays by – you know, a, a big player tonight, and Xander too. I mean, wow.
uh, big homer, obviously. Kike with great relay to him. To be able to, to keep that, you know, if I could label a play of the game, that would be the play of the game for me where Xander cuts him down at home plate, keeps it a 3-1 game versus a 3-2 game there. And uh, we're able to go out there and, and tack on more. In the third row on your left. Kyle, all season long, this team has sort of relished when they've been an underdog. When you were acquired here by this team, could you sense that chip on their shoulder in the clubhouse? Definitely. You know, I, I, I definitely see that. Um, you know, they, they weren't, you know, expected to be at that point when uh, I was traded over here. Uh, and there was definitely the little chip there, too, on the shoulder that, you know, we lost the, the, the lead in the division. And, uh, you know, we, we knew that what we're, you know, this team knows what they're capable of doing. And uh, it's just, you know, it, it was baseball there. You know, just kind of, you, you hit that little slow speed bump there. And, uh, you know, we were able to kind of pick it back up and talk about the adversity that this team faced after that as well with the, the COVID outbreak. Uh, you know, kind of <laughs> that revolving door of guys being able to come in and uh, fill roles. And I mean, talk about one heck of a job that all those guys did uh, of coming in and filling in roles and be able to put us in the position that we were in today. It was huge. And we were able to go out there and take care of business. Third row on your right, Chris. Uh, Kyle, obviously, uh, you were fired up with that home run, kind of got the dugout going there, um, and, and you admired it for a second. Is that as fired up as you've been in a long time about a homer? <laughs> yeah, that was definitely, a, you know, it was a fun one. I mean, you hit it, and, you know, every every run matters in, in these game, in the in these types of games, especially, you know, in the postseason. Every run matters, and, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how early or how, or how late it is. Uh, you you want to be able to keep tacking on runs, and, yeah, you know, it might have been, you know, probably a little bit of overkill on my part, but, you know, I was excited and uh, just wanted to keep the momentum going on our side. And, uh, you know, obviously I said, you know, I probably didn't know what I was doing. I didn't. <laughs> you know, I was just excited that the ball was able to get out of the park and, you know, not trying to, to show anyone, but more trying to keep the energy going on our side. Against the wall on the right. Kyle, can you describe kind of the roller coaster of emotions, not just in the game, but kind of leading up to a, a winner-take-all game like this, and and you know, how do you use that to your advantage? Yeah, um, you know, obviously leading up to it, where you know you're you're in the midst of it, and you get you know you come in, you get you get swept by the Yankees at, at our place, and then we're able to go on the road, and you know it was definitely a hard last last six games. You know, you, you know, against Baltimore, even Washington, uh, you're going out there, and you, you know, the, the writing's on the wall of what we need to do. Um, we're, you know, you, you try not to press or anything like that, uh, but it, it can be, uh, you know, we're human. You know, <laughs> we're human. We can, we know what we need to do, but. Uh, you know, you want to be confident in everything that we're doing on the field. And uh, it wasn't easy, but we were able to come through and we were able to get the job done. And then to be able to be in the spot today with the one, the, the winner take all kind of deal, uh, you, we got to be able to, you know, we had to be able to take care of the little things. And we did that great today. We, we played exceptional defense. Uh, Avaldi pitched his butt off the bullpen. The guys who came in behind him pitched their tails off. And uh, the offensive side of the baseball, we executed our game plan. And like I said the day before, that if we're going to go out there, you know, win or loss, we want to be able to go out there and feel good about it at the end of the day. Uh, we felt like we executed our game plan today. And we walk away with a win, and we're happy about it. Uh, up front on the left, Ian. Kyle, uh, even though you know Xander was in a pretty bad slump the last nine, ten games of the season, how how much did you feel like he was kind of on the verge of a moment like he had there uh, in the first inning? Yeah, seeing the work that that guy puts in on a daily basis, I mean, it, it is, you know, it is, it is great work. Um, this game can <laughs> this game can kick you in the butt sometimes, where um, you know you can be going really good and then you show up the next day and you. <laughs> You, you don't know what this thing is in your in your hands. Uh, it, it's a it's a crazy game, but uh, to see the work that that guy put on a daily basis, the 
be able to put himself in a great position tonight in, in a game that, you know, it was a win or go home. It means a lot to, to us as a team. And the, the guy who has been here through multiple championships, the, the step up tonight and, and uh, do it, phenomenal. I mean, you, you can't say enough. You can't say enough good things about uh, Bogarts. You, you can't say enough good things about what he brings to your ball club.